So these rocks are what we call pillow lavas, and it's because they actually have a pillow shape with these smooth round tops. But the unique thing and the character that geologists use from pillow basalts is we can tell which way they were deposited because the bottom is rough. And they have this contrast of a smooth top and a rough bottom because these lavas were erupted on the sea floor and where they touched water they have a smooth budded or pillowed top but on the bottom they were deposited on older pillows so they're all rough and irregular. And from these kind of textures we can say with a hundred percent certainty that the rocks used to face that way, the way up direction towards the top surface of the earth before they were tilted from the horizontal into their present position. And that's really how we can reconstruct environments even though the rocks are so old by comparing it to modern day features that have exactly the same textures. So here I'm sitting on pillow basalts that are actually directly above the marble bar chert. And they look just the same as the ones below, although they're slightly better preserved. And they tell us that there was a period of volcanism, then there was a hiatus or a quiet period when the marble bar chert was deposited, and then it went back into erupting lavas. And that's part of the building up of the picture, time slice through time slice, in the geological history of this area.